Good morning friends. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, some typical classical numerical problem related to extrusion process. As you know that the extrusion process is a very important process for producing uh, the solid as well as the hollow structures with uh, the ram pressure against the die. So, if we understand the pressure and calculation pressure associated with extrusion, it will be easy for us to design and apply those process to get those product related to that. So, it is a typical in the front slide, the typical extrusion process is given and ram pressure is provided and the initial diameter is D suffix 0 and L is the remaining bill, billet length that will be converted to the final product and DF is the final diameter of the extruded product coming out of the die. And the problem is this, a billet 755, 75 millimeter long and 25 millimeter in diameter, 75 millimeter long. 25 in the diameter to be extruded in a direct extrusion operation with a typical extrusion ratio 4, 4.0. So, this extrusion ratio is relevant uh, how much uh, it will be given to form the product. An extruded uh, that has a round cross section and the die angle that is called half angle also that is 90 degree entry. And the work material has a strength of strength coefficient of 415 megapascal that is used for the flow stress and the strain hardening exponent is 0.18. We have to use the Johnson formula with those constant part is uh, y is equal to a plus bx. So, a is 0.8 and b is 1.5 the gradient part and the intercept part is 0.8 to estimate the extrusion strain and determine we have to determine the pressure applied to the end of the billet end of the billet as the ram moves forward so that is important in order to understand the process so this is the problem statement on all those values given there itself to calculate so this is the initial slide whatever we have seen in the title slides the pressure is given the remaining billet length is there and du0 diameter is converted through the die as df final. So, that is the problem and then we go for these value and the ram pressure will be calculated at the billet length because it has already been given billet length is 75 millimeter starting starting value and uh, it is L is equal to 50 and L is equal to 25. Start with L50 and then 25 and L0. So, all those things are there. Initially 75, then it will be, we have to calculate all those things for 50 gram pressures at 25 and at 0. An ideal two strain extrusion uh, using Johnson's formula, we can get those things associated with that. That is uh, logarithmic of ln of R suffix x, that is the extrusion value extrusion ratio and ln4 is 1.386. So, that is the strain directly coming from the formula. It is simple one, the logarithm of these 4.0. And the Johnson's equation is uh, epsilon suffix x is equal to a plus b plus a plus b into logarithmic of r suffix x that is extrusion ratio. If we can straightforward put all those values, we can easily find it out that the whatever it is given, they provide the constant y intercepts term is 0 0.8 and 1.5 is the gradient part and that we have determined these uh, ln of logarithm of r suffix x that is the extrusion ratio and from there itself we get the value of 1.3863 and if you do that calculations, we come out with those value of epsilon x is 2.8795 straight thing and the flow stress we definitely know very well what is the formula that is k into epsilon to the power n n is those uh, 
uh, a component exponent exponent associated with this formula of the flow stress and divided by 1 plus 0.18 that is 1 plus n n is easier exponent is 0.18 so that will be there and whenever you do that we have calculate all those things and then it will come out of it 373 mega pascal 373 mega pascal will be the flow stress so we have found it out the strain and we have found it out the flow stress associated with the next is the graph a typical plot of ram pressure versus ram stroke ram pressure whatever pressure we are giving and the ram stroke length is associated with and that, that is uh, related to and uh, and remaining billet length that will be associated and for direct and indirect extrusion we know that direct extrusion is whenever the ram is exerting the pressure in that direction the product is also coming in a linear way collinear and the direction of the output is the same same this is called direct extrusion whereas in direct extrusion when ram is exerting the pressure and opposite to the direction of the ram the product is coming out this is called indirect extrusion so we can find it out the graph where the ram pressure is in y axis and x axis is ram stroke and for those values those values of the pressure with the stroke it is indirect extrusion it is then having proportional and then with some limit that will be just flat where it is very very high enough for the direct extrusion and then it is coming down with some angle and after that butt formation it is digging goes up so this is the typical structures of the graph and the difference of all those things we can find it out easily from these indirect extrusions and direct extrusion indirect extrusion ram pressure along with the stroke length is almost static within the middle period but here it comes down from a top value for direct extrusion to that point of the butt formation zone so typical plots of ram pressure versus ram stroke uh, that is the remaining billet length for those direct extrusion and the higher values in direct extrusion obviously uh, because of all those pressures are there it is not indirect one and at the con con uh, container wall and the shape of the initial pressure build up strip of the initial pressure build up beginning of the plot depends on the die angle die angle has a role to play for the determination of the initial setup angle and these higher die angles cause steeper pressure building steeper pressure building for higher angle and the pressure increases at the end of the stroke is related to the formation of the butt there will be the formation and the pressure will be increased to a great extent and this is the uh, this is the representation of all those ram pressure versus ram stroke and uh, those things are represented and we can easily differentiate between direct extrusions and indirect extrusion and there are different length we have to calculate the pressure one length is 75 with a die angle of 90 degree the billet metal is assumed to be forced the billet material is definitely forced to through the die opening almost immediately they are forcing it immediately and thus the calculation assumes that the maximum pressure is reached at the billet length of 75 millimeter immediately the entire force and that is deforming the material through this die as much as the opening of the die and for die angles less than 90 degree the pressure will be to maximum as in the figure and from there itself have the relationship with those these angles and along with the pressure build up and this is the pressure uh, this is the pressure accounts for additional pressure due to the friction because there is definitely a friction between the uh, raw material surfaces and the surfaces of the die and that friction is there and uh, where a typical term that is 2L by D0 we have found it out what is from the geometry itself we can find it out what is the uh, what is L this is L is the remaining billet length so here we can find it out that remaining billet length L and 2L by D0 so so the pressure pressure flow pressure will be flow stress Y suffix F 
and mm -hmm. bar that means average flow stress and that is uh, multiplied by a component of the strain plus 2L by a factor 2L by D0 original one and that will be multiplied in order to get the pressure and where the term 2L by D0 accounts for the additional pressure all depends upon the remaining billet length more the length more the pressure and that is divided by the diameter of the original one and this additional due to the friction at the container billet interface container billet interface those things will be there and L is the portion of the billet length remaining to be extruded and D0 is the original diameter L is the portion of the remaining length and D0 is uh, the, or DO is the diameter of the original diameter of the billets. So, we can easily find out what will be the value. In case of the first one that that will be the same 373 into 2.879 and 2 into L by D0. L by D0. So, initial the remaining billet length is 75. So, that will be calculated and according to that for those uh, billet length of 75 we are coming out of those pressures and these pressures if after calculation it becomes 3312 3312 megapascal 3312 megapascal let us find it out all those ideas from the, our initial problem this is the initial problem and there we can find it out those 75 millimeter long so initially 75 and the angle of attack is 90 degree and strength coefficient is 450 megapascal and strain hardening exponent is 0.18 and we are in, uh, utilizing Johnson's formula to determine the determine the um, strain that is A plus B ln Rx, Rx is the extrusion ratio. So there we are finding it out that and the YF low stress will be finding it out 373 where from we are getting that 373 because the exponent value 415 and that will be the logarithmic of uh, uh, extrusion ratio to the power that n exponent 0.18 divided by 1 plus 0.18 that is 1.18 and that way the flow stress average flow stress we are coming out 373 degree 373 megapascal so that is utilized for determining all those values so here also we are finding it out that the pressure is equal to these uh, these uh, flow stress and that is 373 megapascal whatever we have calculated now only we are changing all those remaining bullet length and on the basis of that we are calculating that 373 into 2.8795 2.87 we have already calculated that and plus 2 into 75 divided by 20 25 so let's find it out that how we are getting 2.8795 so 2.8795 we are getting from this value so this is 0.8 with the johnson's formula we are getting 2.8795 and everywhere it is the same this y suffix f bar that is average flow stress is very much there and then we are just changing the remaining billet length and according to that we can get those pressures so at initial it will be the remaining billet length is 75 millimeter and according to that we are coming out of those value 3312 megapascal if it is of 50 then instead of 75 it is converted to 50 and we are calculating the value and that value comes out to be 2566 so whenever the length of the remaining billet length is decreasing we are finding it out that the pressure drop is also that pressure is less pressure is required to extrude the material and the third one is 25 millimeter that is 1820 megapascal that means 2 into 25 by 25 and according to that uh, it is a formula 2 into d0 by del by l and that way it is coming out to be that value so pressures uh, within the shortage or diminishing of the rim length of this thing length of the remaining billet length the pressure comes down so in that 75 it is 3312 at 50 it is 2566 and at 25 it is 1820 megapascal straightforward with the change of the length we are coming out of those values so zero length what is explanation to that the zero length zero is an hypothetical value hypothetical value in direct extrusion in reality is impossible to squeeze all the metal through that it is so length zero is impossible 
and instead a portion of the billet remains extruded, but the pressure begins to increase rapidly as L approaches to 0. So, there will be a huge pressure whenever there L is coming to 0 and this increase in the pressure at the end of the stroke is in a plot of ram pressure versus the ram stroke, whatever we have plotted in the figure. Plot of ram pressure, log plot of ram pressure versus stroke and further is hypothetical minimum value of ram pressure what will result in L0 is calculated. So, here we will find it out when L is 0 the same formula 373 that is flow stress into 2.8795 plus 2 into 0 by 25 because L is 0 and it comes out to be 1074 mega Pascal. This is also the value of the ramp pressure associated with indirect extrusion. Indirect extrusion will also have these kind of value throughout the length of the bellaps. So, um, that is all for the discussion how with the simple formula and with those extrusion ratio we are coming E suffix x that is ln of the extrusion ratio from there itself we are getting the value and the flow stress value y f average that we are also getting from the family of all those things divided by the k exponent is 415 and then uh, this e to the power suffix x to the power 0.18 divided by 1.18 that is the formula and from there itself we can get this value of those the initial part of it and put those values in the easy equation and for the different rem remaining billet length we are coming out of all those uh, answers to that and that is required that wherever initially we are taking lot of lot of forces it is required and slowly and steadily it is coming down all those things and on the basis of that length we can determine the instantaneous ram pressure associated with this those extrusion process and this is required because we have to know that hardware which is capable of and how they are imparting all those pressures and different remaining billet length to go for that and that way we calculate and these informed informations and other things would have been very very handy if we find it out there is a there is a deviation we have to take some overhauling and find it out the fault and again we have to change uh, we have to run these machines to produce those kind of extruded output thank you thank you very much